I try and remember the world the way it used to be, but it gets harder every day. So many different stories of defeat. So many faces of death. Sure, sunrise, y'all were dead. Well, Peters, where are the choppers? No choppers, buddy. Too hot here. We're gonna go by truck. Head south to where it's safer. Evac from there. All right. So where are the trucks? What? It was. Sounds like that HK rebooted. What's the plan, Coach? Wells, Rogers, take up positions near the windows with Peters and his men. Draw its fire and take out any aerostat supporting. Blair, I want you and Connor to focus on shooting it down. You got any extra RPGs lying around? Yeah. Come on, John! Let's get out of here! Move, people!
can't go any further. Look, someone just uh, go down there and check and see if there's a way down from here. I'm on it. All right, everyone underground. Let's go, people. Finally. Something's wrong. Where is everyone? Maybe we're too late and missed the evac. Maybe they're all dead. Or maybe they're just being smart. Names? Rogers, Connor, and Williams, sir. Hey, Chief. Uh, looks like we're about ten minutes out. Suggest you get everyone prepped for evac. Over. All right, saddle up, kids. We're going home. And then what? Then what do we do? We'll see what Command wants to do. <laughs> I can't wait to see what brilliant plan they cook up next. As if they didn't get enough of us killed today. Come on, Blair. Don't tell me. Come on. Maybe if you took some responsibility for once in your life, we wouldn't be taking orders from Captain Crunch over here. Arrowstead! Outside! Let's go! Everyone! Back inside! This is David West. This is John Connor. I copy you, Weston. Oh, man. Am I glad to hear you. Okay. I thought everyone had gone. Okay, we... This is Connor. Do you copy? Come in. Can you hear me? David. Damn it. This is John Connor calling all pilots. You're free to land in the street, southeast of the original evac point. Are you sure about that? Yes, but you better hurry. We got company on the way. the survivors. Our orders are to clear the evac point and return to base. We can't just leave them. They're as good as dead, and so is anyone I send in after them. What happened to every life is sacred? I'm sorry, Connor, but there's nothing we can do. Like you mean it, people, I want this place clear in 60. Get on board, Connor, now! What are you doing, John? Taking some responsibility. Look, if we leave them behind, we're no better than the machines. Connor, I am ordering you to get on this chopper. Just go. Before it gets here. Before what gets here? I'm sorry, John. Oh, I know I'm going to regret this. John! David? Copy. We're on our way to get you. Harvester! Finally. John Connor calling David Weston. Do you copy? Yeah, yeah, we hear you, Connor. Still pretty far from your position. We're progressing on foot, so they're going slow. Just two of us now. There's only two of you. Don't worry, David. We'll make it work. All right, listen up, everyone. Take whatever you can salvage from the chopper. We gotta move. They'll be back. Salter! Angie! Come on, get your head together. Help the others. Deckard! Yeah, boss. Look after her. We gotta move. Hey there, Angie. I'm Blair. You're gonna be okay now. I'm right here with you. Where exactly are we going? Head north. Walk all the way home if we gotta. Wouldn't be the first time. Well, we're not going with you. We've got other business here. What kind of business? The only thing left here is Skynet. Some of our men are still trapped in Skynet territory. We're going to get them out. <laughs> That's a death sentence, Connor. For them and for you. Anyway, I heard there was uh, one of those old resistance outposts nearby. We could resupply there, then head our separate ways. All right? 
Works for us. Thanks. This way. Over here! We got it. Good job, Dobkin. Sam? Sam? Why didn't you say something? I figured you had more important things to worry about. Don't worry about me, just, just keep fighting the fight. Don't let them win. You have my word. You're a good man, John Connor. You're a good man. we're moving will never make it to Eagle Rock. So let's call it a day and head for base. You know, where it's safe. We need to change our perspective. He's got a point, Angie. Try and be less negative. Excuse me? That's not what I meant. Look, if we can get to the top of that building, we'll be able to see where all of Skynet's patrols are. We can plot a route back to Eagle Rock that avoids them. You sure it's safe? Angie, we're in a war zone. Never seen endos like this before. Looks like they're coated in some kind of rubber skin. It's an early model infiltrator, designed to blend in with the resistance and destroy us from within. Rubber skin on a T-600. Easy to spot, but the 800s, they'll have real human skin. What are you talking about? We should go before any more of them show up. Come on, Connor. What's an 800? What do you know that we don't? Look at that thing. It's falling apart. It's lasted this long. It'll last another 20 minutes. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, listen. There's too many machines on the streets. We'll never make it that way. But I do have an idea. Let's hear it. Union Station is nearby. We use it to go underground into the subway system. Follow the tracks all the way to Eagle Rock. You think it'll be any safer down there? Guess anything's better than staying topside. Besides, this is LA. No one ever uses the subway. David, it's Connor. Just letting you know we're heading underground, so we'll be out of touch for a bit. How long until you get here? It's hard to say, David. We're still a ways out. I don't know how much longer we can keep this... Hurry! Stop! Stop! Wait a second. Look at this. Looks like the entire platform is rigged. This doesn't look like resistance work. Maybe it's just old. Hardly any dust. It's recent. Expertly done, too. Wonder who built it. Better question is why they built it. I said, cut yourself. Now what? We've heard rumors of machines with rubber skin. Supposed to look like people. Guess you ain't one of them. But that still doesn't explain what you're doing down here. 
My name is John Connor. This is Blair and Angie. We're on a mission to rescue resistance fighters trapped behind enemy lines at the Eagle Rock Skynet facility. <laughs> the three of you are going to infiltrate Eagle Rock when the whole resistance just got their asses handed to them. <laughs> That's a likely story. Tell me what you're really up to. What I told you is true. Command refused to send help, so we're going it alone. We know the risks. We'll give you food and water, plus whatever other supplies we can muster. But I'm warning you, we lived in these tunnels for years without Skynet bothering us. If you brought them to our doorstep, I'll kill you with my own two hands. Understood. Thank you. Hey, are you Barnes? The one and only. <laughs> right. Well, I'm John Connor. Warren said you'd help us out. I need rations. Three people for three days. Plus whatever medical supplies you can spare. <laughs> what, y'all planning a camping trip? Something like that. Yeah, well, you need to watch your backs. Some mean old bears out there in the woods. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we've seen our share of them. Well, come this way then. Here's how we gonna do this. You keep the robots off of me while I set the charges. On my signal, we run like hell. You got it? Did you just call them robots? They're robots, right? What else should I call them? Fine. No problem. Y'all ain't got nothing to say, huh? No one's complimenting me on my handiwork. Come on. You designed that trap? One of my specialties. Barnes, you did a great job. You'd be an asset to the Resistance. Yeah? We should talk about that later. Right now, though, we gotta hustle. John, Blair! All right, that's the last of them. We're good to go. You three, ride with me. What are you gonna do now? Get out of Los Angeles. We'll have to find a new place to hide. We're never gonna win this war if we keep running from the enemy. Sorry, sweetheart, but this is a war we're never gonna win. No matter what we do. Ready your weapons, people. Why are we slowing down? Hey, Warren, some of our people are on the platform up ahead. We gotta get them on board. No, we'll be killed! Don't listen to him, Barnes. We're getting those people. All right, get them on board! Looks like the coast is clear. Let's get those people on board! Come on, are you kidding? Everyone okay? Yeah. I'm all right. Grab your stuff and let's go. Where are we going? To the depot where we keep the vehicles. We'll get cars and rendezvous with the others en route. This is John Connor calling David Ah, oh, man. What was that? <laughs> That's Skynet jamming your signal. It's coming from their surveillance facility. Up in the hills. What is that thing? It's how Skynet keeps watch on the city. They're up there scanning the surface, looking for survivors. It's the reason we have to live underground. Keep close to us and keep the machines busy. There's special short waves in each vehicle. Skynet can't jam them. Or at least they can't jam them very well. Put them on. Let's go!
right, Warren. This is where we part ways. We're headed back to Eagle Rock. You brought a lot of trouble to our doorstep. Still, in the end, you came through. If you change your mind, you're welcome to stay with us. Thanks. I appreciate it. But we're going after our guys. Do you even realize where you are? You're right under Skynet's eyes and ears. And you want to set out on foot? Hell, they're even jamming your radios, keeping you from talking to each other. You'll never reach your men. Not as long as that thing's still standing. Then we'll destroy it. <laughs> the two of you? Alone? No. Not alone. Thought you were coming with us. I wanted to. I can't live like you do. Suit yourself. I'm going too. I'm tired of spending my life on the run. After all I'd done for you, Barnes? You're idiots! All of you! It's suicide! It may be. But I'd rather die for a reason than live without one. <laughs> yeah. Nice knowing you. Thanks for coming along. You don't have to do this. I know I don't, but we're here, so what's the next step? If that tower is the source of our problems, it's gotta go. Well, well, well. Looks like John Connor's come up with a plan. End of the road. Nah, man, we're just getting started. Looks like it's less than a mile from here. We'll be there in no time. see any guards or sentries, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. We stick to cover. Move in groups of two. Inside, we'll cover the doorways while Barnes wires the C4. We good? Yeah, I'm good. Right behind you, Connor. You two set up a perimeter. I'm gonna see if I can pull one of these drives. Careful, John. They're redundant, so Skynet shouldn't know they're missing. What good is that? Depends what kind of information they're storing here. Schematics, access codes, flight plans, who knows? Look for the controls! I'll do it! Angie, go! Connor! I have faith in you! It shouldn't have been Angie back there. John, you inspired her. You inspired all of us to join you on this mission. And now she's dead. She was right, you know, when she said it was a suicide mission. Why are you talking like this? Read me, Connor. Repeat. John Connor, this is David Weston. Can you read me? Yeah, David. I'm here. Oh, man. I'm trying to raise you forever. And almost giving up hope. Well, please tell me you're still on the way. Yeah, we're still coming. We're just a few miles out. We'll be there soon. This is John Connor calling Resistance Command Bakersfield. Do you copy? Repeat. This is John Connor calling- John Connor? You're alive? Thought you went down with Murphy's chopper. Listen, Linda. We're going back into Eagle Rock on a rescue mission. Can you back us up with air power? Buy us enough time to get in and rescue our men? Wish I could. Last time we tried that, their carrot shredded our birds. And then there's that harvest. Right. Well, what if I told you that won't be a problem? All right. She's good to go. She'll steer herself straight to Skynet, stopping at all our primary targets. Only problem is, 
I've still got no way to control her guns remotely. You do now? Look, uh... I, I, I'm, I'm not too good with apologies, but, uh... We were almost out of the city when we saw your fireworks display. I don't know how you did it, but... Me and some of the men started talking and we figured... Well... You know, if you got this far on your own... Imagine what you can do with some help. Amazing. It's just amazing. We don't have a lot of time. Washington, Torres, and Jones will escort you back to our vehicles where you can get medical attention and wait for evac. Hey, you're not resistance. Who are you? They can fill you in later. Right now, I need to figure out how to get inside that building. You have any ideas? The service tunnels. They're tight, but they'll take us there. Us? I'm going with you, Connor. The least I can do after everything you've done. I can't ask you to do that. You're not. Let's go. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Get those guys back to the trucks. And be careful. This is John Connor calling Resistance HQ. Do you copy? We hear you, Connor. Go ahead. I'm going to bring the turrets offline. Give us five minutes or so to get out of here, then blanket the place. Great work. We got choppers coming in to evacuate, boys. Where should I have them be? There's some wounded men by the outer wall. Get them out first. Copy that. the system to send out an EMP. We're forced to shut down. They'll reboot in a few minutes, so we better get out of here. Okay. Follow me. Asking why we did it. Why we sacrificed so much for just three men. But it wasn't about the numbers. It was about the message. It was about principle. I think in time they'll understand. I think deep down they already do. It was just a small victory that day, but already things are different. All around me, I see change. I used to think of the world the way it used to be, and try to find strength in those old memories. But now I think of the future instead, of the world we're going to create. And it gives me faith. <laughs> 